Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about the prism and the combination of two prisms. We know when a light is passed through a combination of prisms or through a single prism, it experiences dispersion that is splitting up of the white light into multiple colors and a deviation that is getting away from its original path. Both of these things are disadvantages for us. We are trying to eliminate at least one of them because eliminating both of them simultaneously is practically very difficult. So in that we are talking about in this case, let the dispersion be there but without any deviation. Dispersion which is measured like an angular dispersion be there, right? So angular dispersion can exist in our condition. That is angular dispersion produced by the first prism, but angular deviation or deviation produced by the combination of these two prisms has to be equal to zero. That's the condition that we want to put. Deviation produced by the, by the second prism and the first prism together equal to zero. We know formula for the deviation is angle of the prism into refractive index of the respective color, say yellow color, minus 1, plus angle of the second prism into refractive index of the yellow color with respect to that second prism, minus 1, has to be equal to 0. This is the condition, simply. But I want to express this condition in terms of the other terms like dispersive power. If I need to express it in the dispersive power, as we have learned earlier, we need to know what do you mean by dispersive power. It is simply angular dispersion, that is the deviation of the violet color minus deviation of the red color by deviation of the yellow color. If you write it in terms of the refractive index, it will become something like refractive index of the violet. This is the formula. If you notice the formula, what is there in the denominator is there in the formula. What is there in the numerator is missing in the formula. So I want to express it in terms of a dispersive power. I shall get the term that is there in the numerator too, this term. So what I will do is simply, I will multiply with the term and divide into this of violet minus refractive index of the red of the same first prism. Plus, let me repeat the same for the second prism. Divide with refractive index, refractive index of violet and red difference. This is the equation that I have got, which can be further simplified. Let us try to simplify this. It can be understood that this is nothing but the dispersive power. What is remaining is reciprocal of the dispersive power. This is the angular dispersion itself angle divided by the dispersive power of the first prism plus this is again reciprocal of the dispersive power of the angular dispersion angular dispersion by dispersive power of the second prism equal to zero that implies theta 1 by omega 1 equal to minus theta 2 by omega 2 or theta 1 by theta 2 equal to minus omega 1 divided by omega 2. By arranging the two prisms who are satisfying this condition in a proper way, if you arrange the two prisms in a proper way such that when a light ray passes through them, it can have angular dispersion. But what happens is, what comes out are going to be parallel to the incident light itself. This could be a red color, this could be a violet color, in between I may be having many colors, but there is no deviation, but there is only a dispersion, splitting up of the white light into multiple colors. This way of arranging can be possible when you satisfy this condition. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.